Good morning, patients. My name is Nurse Wiley. Today is December 10th, 2019, and we're weighing in at 158. Give me one second. And without the camera, we're weighing in at 157. Alright, good morning. <clears throat> Ooh. Um, today's been pretty good so far. I, uh, I woke up. Um, I went back to bed, woke up again, went back to bed again, and I finally woke up and it took like a 15 minute shower, just slept in the shower to be honest, not gonna lie. I was pretty tired. Right now I'm pretty awake, I'm not gonna lie. I'm got a lot of, I don't have too much energy, but I'm, I'm pretty much almost there. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is raining, which is pretty annoying. I don't like it. Um, we do have a final today which I am kind of stoked for because I don't got to go to that class anymore. I don't have to really think about that class as much as I did for the past 16 to 18 weeks. So stoked. We are pulling up into UAH right now. Um, we are going to head over to the CU again because I am going to go run up my morning coffee. I may or may not tell you what I normally get in my coffee. I'll think about it. See if my friend's here. Yes, she is here. So yeah, we are gonna run up that coffee today. I am 100% getting that today. I need it in my life. Ooh, I don't know where to park because this parking lot looks like it might start flooding, in my honest opinion. All right, bear with me while I take y'all off of this little camera thing. We're gonna head over there. Luckily, I don't need my backpack. I just need my money, which I got in my pocket. Put this over here. Hopefully the sound quality is not terrible. Alright, gotcha. Actually, put that back down. Yep, you're down in my, between my legs. Nice. Love to see it. All right, here we go on the little tripod I got. All right, plug this mic in, make it sound a lot nicer. You know how it is, quality. Oop, got the umbrella. All right, ready to go. Yep, you can see a close up of my face. How y'all doing? I'm looking gorgeous today. Always got the hat rocking. We're rocking this hat today. Come on, stabilize. Good to go. We're heading over to the CU. So now let me just tell you about freaking Alabama weather. This it's trash. Honestly, I hate it. It's last night. It was pouring. It was downpour. I mean, like, geez, I want. I need to get something out of my car uh, last night. But I opened the garage and I'm like, yeah, I don't need it. Think I can pass on it today? Cause that's how bad it was. I didn't want to get soaked. I was in my pajamas and I didn't want to have to change. So this morning, it was just a little sprinkling. Like, okay, maybe it'll stop today. And now it's starting to pick back up a little bit. It's not as bad as it was this morning, but you can definitely tell it's about to start back up. Apparently, it was supposed to snow today, which is kind of cool, but I'm kind of glad it didn't because I'd want to just get this final out the way and I don't want to get this final postponed. I don't want to be stressed. I'm not even really that stressed, but you know, it would just be kind of annoying because maybe they'd have to postpone that final to next week. And I don't want to go to class next week. I want Thursday to be my last day. But anyways, that's Alabama weather. I'm gonna go over to see you, hang over there, and then I will see y'all uh, hopefully before my final. All right, so I'm just gonna say, as a guy who works at Dunkin', this is probably the best coffee in my opinion. So it's, it's a cold brew coffee, right? You know what cold brew is? So what I do is I put three creams in here. They put four, unfortunately, which sucks. It's too much. And I put 15 splendors in here, and it gets really sweet. So it's pretty good. Sometimes. However, they are out of cold brew, which is annoying. So there's a way to make it just like a little bit the same as it is. So you take a dark roast, you get dark roast, and then you add a shot of espresso, and you put in the cream and sugar, and you're good to go. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Did you hear about the guy who uh, who bombed his the health assessment final? No. So so we we are lucky for uh, our for us because you know how we don't have to bring a computer in here. Uh -huh. So it's like we got the little security screen and stuff well 
we had this guy in our health assessment, and uh, he's really smart. Like, he could tell you back and forth the health assessment book. Well, he had uh, something going on with his family, and he left uh, his uh, computer at the house. And so they're like, well, we're going to take 20 points off your grade. 20? Yeah. And so, like, he only knew that, like, five minutes before. So, like, this guy was, like, really smart. And he, he made, like, a 65 on it because he could Are only get... The max he could get was an 80, and then he was already stressed. Yeah, Hunter, I mean, they might be asked. You really got to ask the right person. Yeah. All right, so I just finished taking my final. I passed it. So I've passed three finals so far. I got one to go. Be Thursday, it's been my hardest final. I uh, I was gonna go to the gym, but I don't want to be tired and I kind of have energy, so I want to study as much as I can before I like kind of get tired. So the plan is I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna study uh, concepts, um, probably go to the gym around one, give me like two and a half hours of studying, or at least two, which is not too bad, and then. It is raining a little bit. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go downtown, but I might. But I was talking about like how that guy uh, bombed his uh, health assessment test. I want to speak more on that. So we're, I'm kind of lucky to be in a room. So I got like accommodation. So they provide me with my computer, privacy screen, the ethernet cable and like a charger. So that's what you all need to bring if you're not in that room. If you forget either of those, you lose 10 points. My friend, he left uh, his computer and his, he left his computer. So basically they were like, well, we're not gonna deduct you the 60 points, so we'll just deduct you the 20 points. So he had an 80 and he found out about that five minutes before the test was supposed to start. And basically he didn't do too well because he was already stressed out about like 80. He had been putting in multiple hours for that test and he knew the test front and back. Like he was a reading to me. he was a uh, answering my questions really well I was asking him hard questions easy questions all, basically any type of questions he just he knew them but then when it came to test time he let himself down and ended up bombing that final because of the 20 points which I think is stupid because there shouldn't be that but I mean I guess it kind of makes sense what am I supposed to do about it anyways I'm gonna enjoy this ride home I'll catch back up to you probably halfway through my study test and let you know how it goes Alright, I'm finally now leaving uh, UAH. I was going to record halfway through my study session, but I didn't for two reasons. First reason was because I was just really wanting to focus. I got a decent amount done. I'm almost halfway day we're there. We're probably going to get just a little bit over halfway to tonight. And then we'll knock it all out tomorrow. And the other reason is because I'm just nervous a little bit. I don't... I'm not used to recording in front of people yet well I can do it in small groups of people but not like huge groups yeah I'm not there yet but I should have done it just because like practice makes perfect but uh, I'll try to do it next time hopefully even though I probably uh, okay I promise myself next time I want to do it I'll do it so that's so you hear me here now I will do it um, so here's the plan now we are going to the gym probably gonna be there for roughly two hours uh, probably get out of there around 6 get home around 6 30 ish take a little nap start studying again at 7 maybe I might study I don't know I probably will I was gonna do like one or two more chapters but once we do that, that should be it for tonight. And then we gotta do like five or six more tomorrow. Again, like I said, they're pretty short. is isn't too bad. Um, this final day, I ended up getting an 82 on it, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, a lot of people didn't do so well on it, which sucks. Um, people's expectations were going in and the teachers told us, oh, it'll be pretty easy, focus on the basic. Well, they lied. It was not basic. They said, oh, four questions would roughly come from each chapter. No, they lied. 15 questions came from one chapter and another 15 questions came from another chapter. So it wasn't even their study guide, their little final study guide. Yeah, that was, wasn't was true at all. They told us, oh, pathophysiology, we're worrying about what causes it. 
and the symptoms were not worried about treatment or how you take care of it. Oh, they lied about that. There were questions on that. But that's just my little rant. I don't care. I'm going to get over this gym. I'm going to smash this workout two hours. And when I get home, I'm going to eat because I'm not hungry, but I'm just kind of tired. And I am just kind of want to bored eat, but I'm not going to. But I'll eat at 6 when I'm supposed to eat. So anyways, I'll see you all when I get home. Well, I'll see you at the gym. All right, I just got out of my car. I'm heading uh, into the gym. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. My uh, energy levels for today, they're not usually up to gym standards. They're a little bit lower than they normally are. Usually I'm, like, excited to go into the gym. But today I'm just like, ugh. I just, I'd rather be doing something else. Like, I don't know if it's because... I've had a long study day, or if it's because of my calorie deficit, I'm not exactly sure. But the plan for the day is um, we're going to use 40 pounds instead of 30s for 35s for most of our uh, compound movements today. And then for our little uh, lower weights, we're going to use uh, 25s instead of 20s today. So that should be fun. But anyways, I'm going to go change, and then I'll see y'all uh, after this workout to do a little like a physique update. All right, the workout for today is complete. It was super fun. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do uh, cardio because it's starting to snow and it's starting to stick on the grounds. And I don't really want to be driving with snow on the grounds to potentially wreck my car. It makes sense. Yeah, I could do cardio. I may do like time and a half tomorrow to make up for it or a double. I think we just might just do the regular amount because I got a test I want to study for and I want to do over mat. So we're headed home now. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Oh, there's snow all over the car. God damn. Shit. Sorry. But yeah, it was really fun. We ended up going with the 40, 40 pound weights today and uh, that was, that was something. I was able to do it, but wow, I got a real nice pump. It was insane, bro. I don't, I'm not going to 45s. I'm not saying I can't do 45s. I probably could, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to hurt myself. I'm just starting to figure out the form for bent over rows. I know it took taking me a while to realize it. You might even have a hard time seeing me. I don't know, but I don't want to hurt myself is the main problem. So I think we're going to stick with 40s, see how we do with them for like a week or two. If we're still good with those for like a week or two, then we definitely will go up to 45. But yeah. I will see y'all at home after I finish my study session and eat my food. Alright, so I'm going to be ending the vlog here. I'm just tired. Um, I was going to study a little tonight, but I'm just really tired, so we'll do it in the morning. We're going to go to class tomorrow. We don't have class, but we're going to get there around like probably around 7. We're going to study there till 10, go to the gym, then come back. My goal is to not come home at all until I'm completely ready and feel very good about this test. I can't study at home anymore. I don't know why, but it seems every time I come home, I'm just like, nah. Or when I do study at home, I don't feel like I do as well. So anyways, today was a good day. We're going to do our cardio tomorrow, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.